do bangs and scrape. 34 horsepower from the factory. <laughs> Hello all and welcome back to Accelerate. We got something really, really cool for you guys today. What is it? We've got Kurt's 1970 Classic Beetle. This is a car that I have always, always wanted to experience. Yeah, so let's get stuck in. Your old beast, let's go. The initial design of the Volkswagen Beetle actually began in around the 1930s, uh, although it wasn't first sort of released as a Beetle. The story behind it, when Hitler took power in the 1930s, he demanded a car that was for the people, hence the people's car. Uh, he actually got a gentleman by the name of Ferdinand Porsche to design it, and yes, that's the same Porsche who later brought out the 911 and all the Porsches we know today. Ferdinand Porsche was a bit sneaky. He took his influence from a small motoring company called Tatra in Czechoslovakia. Uh, they realized his design and weren't too happy, so they actually sued Volkswagen and won. Hitler, as you can imagine, wasn't impressed with this. So what did he do in response? He invaded Czechoslovakia and actually took over the factory. Uh, so that's how they managed to get all the licensing and everything they needed to do it. Now here at Accelerate, we are all about variety. Uh, we've had some fast cars and things like that, but with the 40 horsepower this has got, <laughs> you know, I don't, it's not meant for speed, but this is all about the experience. So I think it's about time we take it out on the road. So guys, this is my first, uh, basically my, I'm gonna catch my first reaction. I've been so excited to do this. As I've said, we've had some fast cars on the channel, but this is probably one of the ones I am most excited for because I love quirky cars. Um, so massive thank you to Kurt once again for taking the time, bringing it down. Oh, I'm so, let's, let's go out on the road. Let's see what she drives like. You may hear a few bangs and scrapes, but don't worry about oh, it. Yeah. It's all protected. All part of the charm. It's mad first impressions. I mean, you can see they are small cars, obviously. Yeah. But it's like, I'm amazed how open it is around there. So you feel like you've got plenty of leg. You, you don't feel cramped in you at all, do you? I prefer driving this to my daily. I was going to say it, but I was going to add, this obviously isn't your daily. It's, it's nice enough to drive in. Yeah. <laughs> God, I just feel, I can't stop smiling. We've, we've done about 15 feet. And I can't stop smiling. It's just one of those cars that puts a smile on your face. I don't know why, I had this impression that it was going to be very delicate, very, you had to be careful, but it seems, <laughs> speed bump. <laughs> to be fair to it, it's hard as nails. It, it is hard I was going to say, I like, all this, like, uh, obviously I did a bit of research and everywhere I said, say they're designed to be rugged. I just had this thing of, because it's classic, it's very delicate, but already it feels like it just wants to take a beat in. It will happily take a beat in, apart from when you come to speed bumps. <laughs> I mean, they've got a charm all of their own. And so even just sat in a passenger, I've been in here a couple of minutes and I'm already getting the feeling of, I understand why they've got such a cult following. So what made you go, what's the story behind it? Um, when I was a kid, I just used to spot them more than I did Ferraris and that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then watched Herbie. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just grew then really from yeah. here, to be honest. Oh, nice. How long have you had it? Uh, coming up a year in August. Okay. 
So they were designed as a basically a car for the people, as we all know. They were meant to be reliable. Have you had any reliability issues? How what's, what's it been like? It's been amazing, actually. Yeah. Last week, it did four or five hundred miles in a weekend. No way. Yeah. Okay. So they do live up to their reputation of being. Uh, I mean, we're doing. That is a mile. Is that miles? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It gets up to national speed. I mean, I really wasn't. Ex I was expecting to be chugging and trying to push it, and yeah, it's full speed gearbox. Yeah. Wow. And you got obviously you guys can see how low the car is. I was expecting my my MX5 is more than comfortable than this. I am genuinely surprised. Yeah, pleasantly surprised. And I can see why you know you could happily do a couple of good miles in it. Yeah. Wow. This is not the type of car that need to go fast in you know it's, it's happily just cruising I would rather drive slow and let people see me in it because I feel I don't think I've ever felt too cool as I do right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is a bit loud guys as you can probably appreciate I hope the mics can pick us up but just the the whole visceral experience it's just I can't stop smiling it's great It is protected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all protected underneath. Gearbox is lifted. Engine is okay. lifted a little yeah. bit. So, just the thing is, obviously, the culture around these, a lot of people slam them. So I guess you know they figured out ways in order to stop them scraping all the delicate parts anyway. Yeah. How is it driving it like around city streets, around traffic? What's it like in modern traffic? This is my first lowered car I've never had one okay so it was a learning experience for me yeah but yeah it's, it's all right yeah yeah so talk about going from one extreme to the other I've had some low cars I've had some really low cars this is really low so you've gone from no lowered cars that absolutely slammed yeah and it was lower than this obviously I can send you some pictures if yeah well we'll get some pictures up to show how low it was but it was just it wasn't sensible, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I live in the valley, so... Yeah, yeah. It's mad, even just from driving the few minutes we have, the amount of people, like petrol head or not, the amount of people who are turning their heads, and I get the feeling that this is the car that, doesn't matter who you are, this car gets respect. People know what it is, they respect it. Whereas if you're driving something like a Ferrari, a lot of people don't like them. They think the driver's a bit of an idiot. Where does he? I imagine this is just one of those things. Yeah, cool yeah. driver, everyone respects the car. That's what I love. Well, I, I completely agree with what you said. When you were younger, you, you paid more attention to cars like these than you did Ferraris and stuff. Completely agree. If I saw this driving on the road, like, it's a funny story. Um, Kurt lives very close to Kenny, and he's actually on my route to Kenny's. And ever since the first time I went out to see Penny, I saw this car and I kid you not, I slowed down. I was one of those guys who slowed down to have a look. So when Kenny said that uh, Kurt wanted to do a video with us, I was just, yeah, I, it, it was amazing. I still can't get over how comfy I am. I mean, we're sat on the floor. I got all the leg room in the world. The seat's comfy. Yeah, and yeah. Considering it's day to day, I work with 50, uh, yeah, 50s and 60s Mercedes and I don't know, I mean, they're obviously different calibers of car, but I'm so impressed with this car. It really has impressed me. I don't know, even the smells, I mean, you can smell fuel. Yeah. It just, you know it's a classic car, that's what makes me smile. I've got used to that, but people who get in here say they feel high by the yeah. time they get out. <laughs> I yeah. probably will be by the time we get out, yeah. very throaty when you say what size is it a 1.6 yeah twin carb 1.6 twin carb the sound i mean they've got a real distinct sound anyway it sounds so throaty see that sound oh yes i don't care 
you know, I don't care how fast we're going, I don't care the power, just that puts a smile on your face. It sounds so good. <laughs> I, I love it. That's why I don't have a radio on. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> so, do you mind if I ask, how old are you? I'm 28. Um, what's, obviously running a classic car, well, classic cars used to be sort of, you'd only ever see the older generation driving them. Yeah. What's, what's the running cost of... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay guys, Kurt assures us these noises are normal. Um, what are the running costs? Because obviously I'm assuming it's MOT and tax exempt. Yeah, it is. That's amazing. What are the, if you don't mind, what's the insurance like? I'm going to give us a figure if you don't just... So I've just got a new quote, which is better than one I got. Okay. It's £230 for the year. What? That's 7,000 miles. What? Yeah, um, all my modifications are free if I add any more onto it. Wow. Yeah. See, I think, I genuinely think the younger generation are making, missing a trick here. MOT exempt, tax exempt, and insurance that cheap. I mean, why are we not doing this? Why are, not more, why are more people not driving these? <laughs> Is that foot now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, again, when you said 40 horsepower, I was expecting you to really be, I know it's not easy and you've got a downshift, but it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah. And to me, it's all just part of the experience. I mean, you seem to be really enjoying it. It's just, yeah, it's I love just it. one of those. And even from the passenger seats, I, I could stay in here all day, and I could talk to you guys all day. But I'll try and keep it, try and keep it short. I just really appreciate cars like this. The world today gets too caught up on horsepower, not the 60 times. You, you, you can't put this feeling on paper. Yeah. The feeling of jumping in a, on a day like today. Just cruising, ah, oh, like I said, this this is what makes it for me. And to be honest, I love that the older generation love it as well. Exactly. You get some purists that stick their nose up to it, yeah, but you most of them love, it, love it. Car, don't you? Yeah. 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 But as I said, but I imagine if you drove past a school, you'd have all the kids. Oh wow! If you drove past a business park, you'd still get people looking. Like no matter what, like people respect it. But that's what I love about the car scene. Is it's not just. You know, I love variety. That's why I love it, and that's what we try to um, explore on our channel. Because we've had people messaging us saying, "Oh, but my car's not that fast." Well, it, that does not matter to us. If it's interesting, we want to have a go. We want to see what it's all about, and we want to show off what you've got. I hate cattle grid. Yep. Ah. <laughs> see again. I think if I did that in my MX-5, if I start, people would be shouting and swearing. But with this, the people are like, oh, it's a classic Beetle, it's fine, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let him off. This does seem like a bit of a workout to drive, I mean... Yeah, it can be, and I mean, with two people in, it's worse, just because it's yeah. heavier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were driving down a road just now, and there was obviously a bit of camber in the middle of the road, and there were cars on the side, so we're driving down the road, and it's, <laughs> it was scraping on everything, but again, the amount of people that were looking. Ah, oh, it's all part of the experience. Just looking around the interior and I absolutely love how basic uh, everything is. I mean, it's just bare essentials and obviously that's what they were designed for. Um, has it got heating? Or? So this one haven't, but you can get them with heaters in. My mate's right. got a 1972 and he's got the original heating in his and it still works. Wow. So on a, on a cold day then you're pretty... Stuffed. Yeah, freezing. <laughs> ah. but man, let's run through so, so the features. I mean. What are we looking? I mean, it's basically got a speedo. That's about it for the dials. Yeah. Um, you said is has it got a fuel gauge? Uh, yeah, it's got a oh, fuel, it's gauge. Got fuel gauge. Okay. Real high tech stuff. <laughs> but I mean, apart from lights and stuff like that, that is basically it. And there's nothing to distract you from just the experience of the scraping and the driving. This is what cars are all about. Uh, wow, what a <laughs> what an experience that was. I genuinely. I am genuinely impressed with this car. A lot more comfy than I thought it was gonna be. And when Kurt said to us around 40 horsepower, I was expecting him to be screaming and struggling up a hill, but it feels quite torquey. So it feels there's, there's enough power to sort of get you going, but that's not what this car is about. Just cruising over those mountains then. Like I said, to me, that was the perfect day. And I think we definitely gotta get Kenny in here, even if it is just around the block. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. <laughs> we'll see what we can do for you guys. <laughs> The 
classic Beetle. It is. <laughs> it's nice. This, it's a lot smaller than the other one. It is. Yeah. This, is, I mean, this has been honestly one of my favorite cars that we've done. Yeah. Ever since I was younger, this is just one car that I've always wanted to experience, even if it was just, just as I said, it's good, just to be in there, just driving with him. So much fun and genuinely really impressed me. Yeah. Because really? of how low it is, yeah. um, I was expecting to be bouncing, thrown around. My MX-5 is way more uncomfortable than this. And I was, as I said, I was expecting to be thrown around. I should say in the mirror, when I'm looking at it, when, he, when you've been driving behind yeah. me, I can't see any light underneath it's, it. It is that, that low. It is that low. But that's what makes it cool. Yeah, that's just, it's 34 horsepower from the factory. Um, How many he's done <laughs> Exactly, he's done a few bits to it as well, but that's, yeah. just, that's not what it's about. And as I was saying to Kurt on the way up here, we went up through a, a few hills. You can see, you can see the lack of power, but it's a talky little lump. So okay. you can feel it's got enough torque to sort of yeah. get you up the hill. Well, the reason I didn't go in it, because it probably wouldn't have gone up the hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, it wouldn't have even gone yeah. over the bump, but yeah, they probably wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you sat in there, but we managed there, to wedge yeah, him yeah. in there. Yeah. What the, I mean, you were Honestly, again. I thought oh, it's going to be a squeeze, but it wasn't. It, and it's really comfortable. The seats on it are really, really comfortable. But it's just a strange sensation stepping out level to the floor. Yeah, people think they're low. I mean, I thought the MX-5 was low. Yeah, but Liam's no. always saying, I can't go yeah. weird on my Audi A5. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's weird, oh. not low. Um, this, and thing this thing catches. Yes. Catches on things that you don't even realize. I mean, Kurt's obviously used to it because he was avoiding things that I didn't even see. And Sand. Like, Kurt, Kurt, yeah. yeah. Right, I understand that now. <laughs> So yeah. honestly, for me, this has been the perfect day. Really appreciate it. So I want to say a massive thank you to Kurt for yeah. taking the time, bringing the car down to us. Yeah, he also has his own channel, so we'll put a link on it. Yeah, yeah, definitely go and give him a watch. Don't forget to subscribe to him as well. Yeah. Um, but for now, I think that'll do it for this week. I think so. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one. Cool. This car doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs>